With Figma's new releases post-config 2023, Boolean variables seem to be the variables where everyone gets stuck on. So we're going to break it down in the simplest terms possible to build a super simple prototype that will show how a user can use Boolean variables to hide an alert component. It's that simple. We'll also be using uh, our alert component today. If you haven't watched the video series on how to build an alert component, I'll leave the link in the description below, but it's not mandatory. Let's dive in. So let's get started. So I'm going to bring in uh, our alert component and let's change uh, the title and description just to something a little bit more realistic. So let's set it to, we are experiencing uh, heavy traffic, search result loading times may vary, which is kind of ironic because it is Google. So now that we have uh, our alerts, let's create our Boolean variable. So let's create a local variable, a Boolean that we're going to call alert. And we're going to change its value from false to true. Um, if you don't want something to be shown right from the get go to only be shown upon a certain trigger, you would set that to false. But because our alert is going to be showing the second a user would land on the Google homepage, we're going to set that to true. So another thing is that we need to tie our component back to the variable that we created. So what we're going to do is let's select our component under layer, look for the uh, eye icon, two finger tap, and then select the alert. So essentially what that did is that let Figma know that our alert component is tied to our Boolean alert variable. But there's still no interactivity associated with our component. So let's add um, an interaction that will occur when the user is to press the close button that will hide the alert. So let's click in to that button itself. And then under prototype, let's add an interaction. So let's set a variable which will be our Boolean variable, which is currently set to true, what we want to have happen is set that to false. So essentially saying that to false, there we go. Um, so essentially what this is saying, that when this X icon is clicked, the variable is going that is currently set to true is going to change to false. So a variable that is currently showing is going to no longer show. So let's give that a quick try. So here we go. Perfect. So that's how you can use Boolean variables to create an interactive prototype. It's really that simple. Hope you enjoyed the video.